MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, it's the first of four between the Sacramento River Cats and the Salt Lake Bees. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Catfish Brown gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. In there, no balls and a strike. EK, you take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, and that last loss dropped them back to the 500 mark on the year. So, obviously, they'd like to get back into that positive number for the win. Oh. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at 2-3, to three, and the inning is over. So, a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. So, it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Mitch Moeller is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. On the ground is short. This could be two. Underhanded flip. Out. And they'll get the fielder's Great. choice play at second, but that's all. And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but you see the aggressive slide here. That really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up getting just one on that play. Excellent aggressive base. Dana Pike is into the box, reached base via the walk in his first appearance. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Way to get dirty. Safe. Safe. Oh, love the effort, though. In time. Wow. Made it look easy. Well, I think these guys are pretty lucky just to get an out on this play. You see, they try to start the double play at second base. That doesn't work out. And they're pretty fortunate that the relay throw is in time to at least get the out at first. Catfish Brown is Leading ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. And right here Catfish is an important time Brown. for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Into the windup and the pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Broken bad as this ball's hit on the ground. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't trade places with that guy for anything. I mean, this would sting on a 95-degree afternoon. Catfish Brown will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Smoke toward the hole. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And this guy's had his way with him so far. So maybe this is the way to change things up. Maybe go into attack mode up there. Kind of get the sense that they've been a little too passive. So this is a nice first pitch single. Alex Guerrero will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. And let's train our eyes on this stolen base from our high first base camera. You'll see him get a pretty good jump, and he wasn't looking back at all right there, so he gets into scoring position now with one out. Drilled right back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's now a three to one ball game. Now batting, second baseman, Hilary Adrianza. 
Stepping in, Catfish Brown. He singled his last time up. Shortstop, Catfish Brown. First pitch coming, here it is. First pitch has ball him one, dancing no to avoid it. It's ball one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit hard on the ground to the right. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A little bad Third luck there defensively. Seven. If that's that hit at an infielder, run. it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Alex Guerrero will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Hard hit ball towards the hole. That's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And he is safe at the plate as he's across to make this a 4-2 game now. This guy's been their lone bright spot offensively. Second RBI of the game, and he's driven in. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Aire Adrianza, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Yeah, you know, sometimes guys get caught up in thinking about being the big hero. The key here, though, is just keep it simple. See the ball, hit the ball. Usually the best results come with that mindset. That is a big time to come up with a strikeout in a tight game like this. You still got that tying run over there at first, but with two away now, you don't necessarily need a ground. Hanser Alberto steps in for a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Yeah, this is a huge moment in this ball game, Matt. I mean, you might be looking at this at bat when it's all over as one of the turning points in this game. On the ground to third. Throw to second for That's the fourth out. shot, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Bees are out in front, four to two. Well, a pretty good offensive show of force in this one. Probably at least a couple of players deserving. But, gentlemen, let's go ahead and give this man the nod as our top player of the game. Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight, the second of four between the Sacramento River Cats and the Salt Lake Bees. It's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Eric? Well, I think you better look out for that cleanup hitter. Catfish Brown gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Tap foul at home plate. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No Mitch Moeller will stand in now. Still struggling to get anything going offensively. Bases are empty. One man out. Here's a high pop-up. Alberto is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. A chance now to take a look at how the home... He's been a really tough out this year, bringing an on-base percentage over 400 into the game. So I have a feeling he could be a key player in this one when it's all said and done. Grounded to short. Brown ranges to his right, and a good throw gets him one gone. 
With a moment now, here's a look at the River Cats on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, we get to watch one. Catfish Brown in now. He went down looking at his first trip to the plate. Yeah, it's always a frustrating thing to go down looking, but you know what? Everybody does it. So you've got to let that one go and make the next A-B count. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Liner towards second. Gets dirty and gloves it. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Oh, man, I'm going to give him a 9.5 on that play. He'd probably get a 10 if they could have turned two there, but I'll tell you. Just getting the force at second was good enough for me. At the plate, Alex Guerrero. He reached on a single in his first try. And I think we mentioned it already, but that extended his hitting streak. Swinging a hot bat right now. Here's the 1-1. On the ground to the left side. Fielded cleanly. He's the out. second for one. Relay to first in time and just like that. David Batista will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. The one and two pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Reined in to second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Yeah, that's good hustle getting down the line. A double play could have really put the brakes on this rally, but he's able to beat it out on the back end just to keep things going. Catfish Brown stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Brown. Hit hard up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one-out hit. As a hitting coach, that's what you want your hitters to do. Hit the ball right back up the middle. You get into bad habits when you try to pull everything, but here just stays right on it and picks up a solid one-out single. Alex Guerrero will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, putting the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. He's running towards second. Hit hard back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on He's to out. first. Two gone. Aire Adrianza will dig in again. He popped up in his first plate appearance and flew out last time around. Well, he's putting the ball in play, but clearly getting under it too much right now. It'd be nice for him to stay through one right here. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The River Cats lead it three to nothing. Ray Navarro will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Runners on first with one down. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So it's one run on two base hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Eighth inning coming up. Sacramento leads this one 3-1. to one. Catfish Brown. We'll stand in now to lead things off, they and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another wow. inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Oh. Off the plate, one ball, one, one, one strike. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. 
Ready on one and two. Ball to two. two balls and two strikes now. Fought off at the plate and will do it again. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Hit to short. Navarro is right there. Throw on to yeah. first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, designated hitter, Alex Gordon. And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player of the game award. But what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? The show. And for more, click on over to the. Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Tonight it's Game Three of this four-game set between the Sacramento River Cats and the Salt Lake Bees. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Who are you focused on, EK? In now, Catfish Not Brown, either. as he'll get his Don't first stop. opportunity Catfish in this one. Brown. First delivery to him on the way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. On the pool holes at first, and it's a double play. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Thoughts, EK? Anyone stand out? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference maker in this game. Juan Maldonado will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. To short. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Seven straight games with a base hit now, and that's a solid week or so of swinging the bat with some authority. Dana Pike will stand in here with a runner at first to start the inning. Now, I know both of you are more familiar with the art of hitting as opposed to the art of pitching, but on a wet night like this, who do you think this favors? Well, I, I think it favors the pitcher. I, I know they're going to argue well, the grip, but the ball doesn't carry on wet nights. So if I'm yeah. out there, I'm saying, look, He's pitcher safe. advantage. To second for one. Oh, kind of well, lucky to get it out anywhere one. here. You see the off-balance throw Moment. to second base, and it doesn't have a whole lot of zip on it, but they do find a way to get that force. Mitch Moeller stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The tag, and he is out at the plate on a great throw from the outfield. Post. Yeah, let's watch this again here, because I don't think this jump was all that bad at second. It was going to take a great throw from center field to get him, and this one is right there to cut him down for Leading off the inning, Catfish Brown, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact, and he can run. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Barry is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number. Catfish Brown will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And that's just not really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Swing and a miss one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. 
Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he will make it into third with a one-out triple. He does a nice third job here going seven. right with the pitch. You can around. see it's on the outside part of the plate, and he just squares it up perfectly and drives it right through the empty gap. And since they were playing to pull, they've got a long way to go to run this ball down, so that allows them to... Alex Guerrero will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Smoked on the ground, left side. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 5-4 to four game. Now batting. Got a fastball Second to his baseball. liking. It was Green. middle in, Green. so he was able to turn on it and pull it right through the hole to pick up the RBI. Albert Pujols will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Here's the 1 and 2 delivery. They have. Oh, what a dive. He's up with it. The throw. He just late. He's safe. Oh, man, that would have been awesome. Exceptional effort out there, but that base hit puts the potential tying run at first. So stepping in, number 13, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Get the double play for crying out loud. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. He'll come home with it. But not Maybe. in time. And just like that, this Maybe. ball game is tied. Alex Guerrero steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Oh, this pitch is lined into left field, and he delivers a big base hit. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. That's a nice swing of the bat right there. Hits that ball right on the button out to left field. That'll easily score that runner from third. Grant Green will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Runners are at first and third, one away. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Even though this is still just a one-run game, this thing could get ugly in a hurry. So if you've got an out pitch, you better pull it out of the bag right now. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And this could really be trouble now, because with runners on every base, they've got a chance to really break this thing wide open. Mac Williamson gets a great opportunity to drive in some runs and add to this lead, but the double play is in order. Now definitely trying to pitch for the ground ball right here. And as a hitter, you've just got to look for something up in that zone, something you can drive. Hit the other way out toward right field. Maldonado is there. Let's see if they test it. And they'll tack on an important run here with the sack fly as it's now a two-run lead. And that could wind up being a very big insurance run here in the late going. Anytime you can get your bullpen an extra run to work with, they'll thank you for it. And this pushes the lead up to two now. Albert Pujols will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. 
and you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. 0 oh, and 1, here it comes. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Out. One there. Got Relay it. to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The River Cats lead it 9 to 6. Striding in to start the ninth, Leading Catfish the Cat. Brown, as they'll look for some added Catfish. insurance before Brown. the bottom half of the inning. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. He slaps that one away, and the count will be nothing in one. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, third baseman. Dana Hike will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Yeah, and you just can't worry about the score right here. You just got to be able to string together a couple of base runners and take it one pitch at a time, one runner at a time. Grounded to short. Brown gloves it He's on to first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Well, Number one. handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one boys but what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the hardware he's our tops player of the game yeah he winds up with a couple of hits one of which was the triple and he played a big part in leading these guys to the victory so that's a wrap here tonight Eric Karos Steve Lyons Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Facebook MLB The Show's coverage of minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, it's the first of four between the Sacramento River Cats and the Tacoma Rainiers. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, EK? Well, I think you better look. Catfish Brown will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way and they pitch out here but nothing's going on runner at first here one man out chop foul right at home plate at strike one and he pumps the fastball ball, by him here yeah. one and two now. E.K. and take a look at our home standing nine as they enter play here this evening. They come in trying to put together a complete ball game as they've lost their last two. Ball's there, and he is out trying to take second. Good throw. If you're not an absolute speed merchant on the bases, if the pitcher slide steps, he's got a much better chance of throwing you out. The defense sniffed it out right there. The slide threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Andres Castro has a golden opportunity to give his guys the lead as he stands in with three men aboard. And Matt, it's early in this game, but this is a big moment right here. It doesn't matter when you score your runs, just that you score more in the end. This is on the ground is short. Is he going to get out of this? And he is in there. And this is one of those plays that just takes too long to develop. You can see him trying to at least get the force at second base, but that's great hustle. He's not taking anything for granted out there, and he beats the throw to second. Luis Ojeda is into the box for his second appearance. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. Oh. A step on the bag for one. Now batting, right fielder, 
Catfish Brown is into the box. The he was a strikeout 13. victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down wow. hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. A curveball hit right back at him, and he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Third baseman, number seven. Alexis Molina will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And you know, I think he's had a good approach in each of his first two at bats. He seems to be seeing the ball well and putting some decent swings on it. Underhanded flip. And the yes, throw will go to second as they get to force out. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. And here's why you always go in hard at second base. This could be a very easy double play ball, but he's. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Catfish Brown, but a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Yeah, and you know, sometimes guys get caught up in Counts thinking about oh. being the big hero. The key here, though, is just keep it simple. See the ball, hit the ball. Usually the best results come with that mindset. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. He'll throw Got down it. to first one away. Well, that's some good aggressive base runner right there. He knows the play's probably going to first so he takes off and makes it up to third on the strikeout. Catfish Brown will stand in now. He's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely one of the better hitters in this lineup, and that's why he's in the middle of the order. He just hasn't been able to get it going today. It happens. The 0 1. Ah, not able to hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. And, and here's where you don't need to be an RBI guy. You, you don't need to be a home run guy. You have to be a leadoff guy. Just get on base somehow to give that tying run on deck a shot. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. And another foul ball. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Ready to deliver the one and two. Drilled right back up the middle, and this will make its way into center field for a base hit, and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. When you're down by two in the ninth, there's that old expression about needing a bloop and a blast. Well, that was hardly a bloop. That ball was stung pretty good. But it is going to get... At the plate, Alex Guerrero. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. First to him on the way. Runners on the move for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. He's way late, and he's in there easily at second. Boy, I'm not too sure if a good throw would have had him here or not. But you can see he doesn't get on top of his throw down, and it sails on him just a little bit. That's going to allow the runner to dive in safely with a stolen base. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And the slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. Soft liner to the left side. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. So unfortunately, it looks like he's going to come out of the game now with an apparent right shoulder. 
So a big moment here in standing in Grant Green. And he does so representing the possible. Make sure that he doesn't try to do too Three. much here. Just keep that one. Not hey, in time as he just throw. does get in there ahead of the throw. A little surprising there that the runner on first would not be going. You see the strike three and the throw down to third. It's too late, but that may be a missed opportunity on the back end. Hanser Alberto comes forward to bat again. He was the victim of a double play last time around. Runners are at first and third, one away. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. That is a big time to come up with a strikeout in a tight game like this. You still got that tying run over there at first, but the two away now, you don't necessarily need a ground ball to get you out of this. Michael King makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Oh, that's outside. Oh, well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Molina is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Good work here out of the bullpen, and he's into double digits now. That's his 10th save here on the season. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, it wasn't exactly a complete game, but he did get him into the seventh inning, and that was enough to get his guys into position to win this ball game. This is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has... These guys are going to start getting a little more aggressive here early in the count.